Hey guys, what's up? If you guys are new here, my name is Jacob. I am a beauty boy turned beauty boss, beauty influencer, business owner. I do a lot of vlog content and makeup tutorials here on my channel. So if you are interested in any of those kinds of videos, be sure to subscribe. If you have not heard of the Tia Tia Foundation, let me just educate you real quick. So we all know the foundation NARS Sheer Glow, right? Really popular foundation. Everyone loves it. The thing with NARS Sheer Glow is that because it's such a widely loved foundation. NARS have sold tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of that foundation. So when I was reading the stats, Tia Tia Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation, I, I discovered that they have not only sold over a billion units, one billion one billion of these. What the fuck? But this is said to be one of the best foundations on the market. So I bought mine off Glam Radar for the shades 17N Vanilla, 21N Ivory, and 25N Mocha. Do you have some tan on? So I'm going to pop on some of the Mocha. If you guys are interested in seeing this eye tutorial, I will link it up in the eye card once it goes live. Now, I know that most of you have never heard of Tia Tia before. And I had an eye that. It's currently sold out on Glam Radar. You can't get it. Female founded Korean beauty brand, but it has a lightweight radiant finish that is suitable for all skin types. It offers unbeatable coverage and all day wear for that glass skin look without feeling heavy or cakey. It contains SPF 40. That's going to be interesting to see how it flashes back. It's available in 30 shades and you get 18 grams of product. Here is what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, you have the sponge that fits perfectly in that little oval. And then you open this up and then the foundation is revealed. Most people are just using applicator to apply this. I'm probably going to do the same. But what I think I might do is, actually, no, I'm not going to use this on clients. I'm just going to use this from the, it's fine, it's fine. This will be one of my filming foundations, if I like it. Otherwise, if it's shit, see you later. I do have more of a normal to combo skin type. I'm going to start by just dipping into... And I guess I'm just gonna start in the... Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, it's still going. You guys can see how far just that one little got me. Much covered the entire left half of my face. So far, it feels very, very light on the skin. Like it doesn't feel like I am wearing a mask or anything. It feels like I've just got a moisturizer on, to be honest. I think the color match isn't too bad. I think it's pretty good. And I was quite like skeptical of the color of the shade range because any beauty company that's based in Asia or from Asia has like three shades of white foundation essentially. I am quite impressed. So this is one thin layer. Definitely gives you the glass skin effect. Like if I'm being 100% honest, my skin is looking really, really good, really juicy, well moisturized. Like it looks like a second skin. However, around my mouth, as you can see, I do have a beard. So I'm gonna try and correct greeny kind of tone with some more foundation. I might need to use a color corrector over the top, but let's just see how it layers. It definitely added more coverage, but I do have a very, very stubborn beard. Now, here's the thing. You guys know, you guys know, if you've watched any of my previous foundation reviews, you know that I have the world's creasiest face, okay? The only place that I have Botox right now is right in my frown, so I can't frown. But my forehead, creasy, my smile lines, my crow thing, they're all there. Very interesting to see how this moves throughout the day, if it does move throughout the day. I'm going to take the Mega Max Life Proof Corrector in the shade Deep Peach, just to warm up. I'm actually going to use the same. Oh yeah, flawless. Like beard wear. Let's go ahead and pop some concealer under the eye. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. I think my skin is looking fucking incredible right now. Let's see how a cream contour blends over the top of this. That's a different formula. So I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chai. Go to of mine for a really long time. I really love how it looks. Apply a little bit here. What? Now, usually when I'm blending out a cream contour, I will always, always pat it out. I full just went in and started swiping. If you don't pat and you swipe a cream product over a liquid, it's gonna pick up the liquid underneath and move it around, right? And you're gonna lose coverage. 
I have not lost any coverage. I'm extremely impressed. I'm now gonna set down my face using the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. This is, you guys know, my holy grail. This is the only powder that I ever use. I do have other ones that I use on clients, but I'm mainly using this on clients, unless someone has an allergy. I'm just gonna set right under the eye and right here. Whatever's left over on the puff, I'm just going to pat over the rest of my face. I'll go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I will come back and give you guys a full update. I'm gonna see how blush applies, bronzer, highlight. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything off and give you guys the full, full, full rundown. Just went ahead and completed the rest of my base. Also threw on a pair of lashes. If anyone's wondering, these are our Roman half lashes, which are always out of stock. Always out of stock. If you guys are looking for a good pair of half lashes, be sure to go and check them out. On my lips, the Morphe Makeup Talk Lip Pencil, Maybelline 920 Nude Lust, and the Nude Collective Fernando Hervas Collaboration in the shade Nude 3. This is a vegan lip shine. We have this on our website as well if you want to grab them. Okay, this foundation. I have been wearing this now for maybe like an hour, and we are yet to crease. That never happens. I'm going to wear this all day and then in the description I'm gonna write down if this ended up creasing or not okay because you guys know I have a super creasy face from what I can see in the mirror right now I am so impressed I feel like even though I have a crap ton of powder on right now my skin still does have a natural kind of glow showing through it feels super light on the skin I don't feel like I'm wearing a mask which is really nice and like I said this does have SPF 40 actually let's do a flash test right now no flashback, no weird patchy areas. Looks really freaking good. For now, that concludes my take on the Tia Tia foundation. I have never used a cushion foundation that I've liked because usually they're really lightweight and light coverage and airy. And like, I'm a full coverage bitch, okay? I've got a beard, I've got large pores. I like to cover all of that shit up. This has done a really, really good job at doing that. I can't wait to use this on other occasions to see how it holds up. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more foundation reviews or reviews in general, please let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good shit. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've used on my face, be sure to leave them down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one.